old young maid, sponsored by Gavin Rose Landscapes, first division of this contest. That Digby was steadied leaving the start by Andrew Glass under heavy restraint at the back of the field. Fence number one coming up. And it's Eric Three on the inside of Danny the Dancer. All jump fence number one OK. Goody Hallett's in third place then from Hunger Hill. Quest of Valor up the inside. Christy Burnett, favourite, jumped that one really nicely. The rest of it over OK. Tree Barrow is racing back in uh, about sixth place there. With Little Big Town on that one's inside. Grove Mountain with a pink cap up the inside and that Digby uh, covered up the tail of the field. The race to this sequence of four fences along the side of the course. And it's Danny the Dancer and Ross Wilson. Leads by four lengths to Eric Dream in second. Goody Hallett in third along with Quest of Valor. Grove Mountain up the inside. Being followed then by Little Big Town with Tree Sparrow, Hunger Hill. And as they jump the open ditch for the first time, that's Digby the last to take it. Slight mistake from Hunger Hill at that fence. Very quickly on towards the next, and Danny the Dancer, Erica's Dream, all over that OK tree, Sparrow, just a slight mistake in the midfield. But this uh, group of young and inexperienced maidens jumping pretty well in the main, favourite uh, Quest of Valor, the most experienced of these runners as they jump fence six. No change in the order. And Danny the Dancer leads Eric Stream, Grove, Mountain, Goody Hallett, Little Big Town. They're followed by Quest of Valor, Hunger Hill, Grove Mountain towards the rear, along with Tree Sparrow and that Digby. Make a left-hand turn out of sight and make your way towards fence seven omitted on the second circuit of our opening contest. Jumping it this time. And again, all the same as they race along the top side of the course with Danny the Dancer, the leader from Erica's Dream in second. Then Little Big Town with Hunger Hill. And Grove Mountain ducked out and unseated the rider, and uh, Goody Hallett uh, unseated the rider too. So Grove Mountain ducked out at the last minute, went through the wing, both jockeys up on their feet. Harry Kinder and Elliot Brookbanks. Actually, Elliot uh, hasn't yet got to his feet, he's just sitting up. So meanwhile, the other runners are coming down the straight. The other seven and about to jump fence nine with Danny the Dancer, the leader. Little Big Town in a share of second with Hunger Hill. Three four lengths then in front of Eric Street, crossing over fence ten. Quest of Valors in fifth place, in, well in touch. Break of four or five then. Tree Sparrow, the unraced. One of the two unraced in this race, going quite well for Chris Dawson. At the tail of the main body, and that's Digby, last of all. <coughs> Making their way up then towards this uh, four-fence line-up along this bottom side of the course, and Danny the Dancer from Little Big Town and Hunger Hill. Quest of Valor's back in uh, fourth place with Erica Stream, then Tree Sparrow, that's Digby. At the open ditch, Danny the Dancer led once more to Hunger Hill, who races up the inside in second, Maroon and White Stripes. Little Big Towns in third, Quest of Valor improving towards the leaders now, going quite well for Christopher Ness in fourth place. And then back in fifth then is Erica's Dream with Tree Sparrow in sixth, and that's Digby, last of them. So they meet the rising ground and jump this fence before they go out of sight all over that and it was just Danny the Dancer who led Little Big Town, Hunger Hill pushed along, Quest of Valor is next, Erica's Dream then called upon for an effort, that's Digby pushed along at the back of the field just behind Tree Sparrow. So they have four fences to jump in the Gavin Rhodes landscapes, four, five, six and seven year olds main race. 
and the seven that remain jump four out. And I think there's something gone wrong with the tack of uh, Little Big Town. I think Philip Greaves is pulling that one up. Not sure whether he's jumped that fence or not, but Little Big Town has pulled up. It's still Danny the Dancer who's made pretty much every yard of the running and the guy is not going to jump the one where all the carnage occurred on the first circuit. So they've got, got two more fences to jump here and it's Danny the Dancer leads by about a length and a half. Quest of Valor in second now. The favourite has the leader well in its sights as they make this turn back towards home. And it's Quest of Valor on the far side, Danny the Dancer on the near side, Erica's Dream is improving with the red sleeves back in third place, and then Hunger Hill. Here's the final fence, Danny the Dancer, Quest of Valor lays it down to Danny the Dancer up the outside, Erica's Dream is putting in a strong late finish as they race now towards the final fence, and Quest of Valor two lengths to the good, over Erica's Dream in second, Danny the Dancer is wilting slightly to meet the rising ground, Quest of Valor, it looks to be going to be challenged by Erica's Stream. Quest of Valor is all out here as they race close home and Quest of Valor it just holds on to me Garrick and Stream and Danny the Dancer. Tree Sparrow, very encouraging run from that debutant back in fourth place. They're followed in then by Hunger Hill and that's Nick <laughs>